Today with us we have Dr. Priyam Pillai. I grew up in Bombay. I got into UC Berkeley and did my masters and my PhD from MIT in mechanical engineering. We can do those things but we have to do it in an Indian way. Innovation where we designed an antenna. You have a way to put it along with the uniform only. We filed a patent on it. We won then we won that award. The Boston Police Department we were doing some work on thermal imaging. I was a student. Uh-huh. They told me can you help us out? Police department gave us an award. Okay. Failing is very important. It is mandatory that you fail 100 times and you succeed once. Teachers in the US told me this. The first thing we wanted to do go into the lab and break something. The same philosophy we tell our students also. Okay. When you are young, you can take risks. Right? You don't have to support your wife and children and all that. So employability, entrepreneurship, research, and impact. Four things. So we are using satellite imagery to study cities. Not only studying how much they grew, but the quality of that growth. Just my startup was called Valectus, and we used by municipal sanitation workers. And that report automatically goes to the municipality project. We got an award from uh, Maharashtra State Innovation Society. So I think that satisfaction is high because we have a stable system. So some of our faculty <laughs> KG all the way till PhD with us. So when you have all these smart people in one location, all smart faculty, smart students, and good infrastructure facilities, then that innovation happens. No, so my father, he came from Kerala in I, I think the 60s, and he then wanted to start a school. In that school, over the 70s and 80s, we came slowly grew up, and we started a night college there. The first uh, privately funded architectural institutions in in Maharashtra, I think. We will become, you know, one of the be- better, if not one of the best institutions in this area. That is a mission. so we we want to be part of the this mumbai 3.0 story we same happens to us we not have enough money in the bank to pay what do you do you have to take a loan you have to pledge some assets you know sometimes you have to give your personal flats so your curriculum has to be innovative right you have to introduce new things into the curriculum almost every semester is it to say that? Uh, is it to say that yeah and recruitment only will eliminate all this that's not hota nahi right so i'm a phd guide of mumbai university My father was a te- came from teaching background. My mother was came from a teaching background. My grandfather was from a teaching background. Oh my God. <laughs> so, so the we have, uh, I think the leadership should ensure that people are changing. They can take the risk. So you will get opportunities. You will get a lot of opportunities, but they will go fast, right? Setting yourself up for when that opportunity comes is one number one. And then when the opportunity comes, to see it and immediately say, "Ah, okay, 